Hey, how's it going? This is Hey, how's it going? This is Tactical Bunny with a pocket dump. Uh, going to start with the boringest and go to the more interesting stuff. Uh, wallet. I like the wide, longer wallet just because it lets me keep it on the thinner side and I can get uh, some gear in my wallet. Uh, the gear I like is I have a Fisher Space Pen. Got a uh, nice little AAA uh, batter, bad, AAA battery, AAA flashlight from uh, Through Night. Uh, I got uh, some duct tape wrapped around a uh, key card, an old key card from a hotel. I got a uh, tile tucked in there. Uh, that's a locating tile, Bluetooth. And then I've got a Fresnel lens here uh, in a little plastic pocket that it comes with. Great for magnification. It can also be used to uh, make a fire in daytime. And then I also keep just a little razor blade in there. Not sure what I'll ever need it for, but it's just kind of, you know, a really sharp edge that I might maybe one day possibly use. I don't know. Um, the only other thing about the wallet is I keep some stropping compound. I scrape down this portion of the leather and then just put some stropping compound there. I've used it once or twice just to tune up a knife when I was out somewhere and I needed to give it a little bit more it. Yeah, a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so that's the wallet. Uh, I don't carry a lot of stuff, but this is what I carry. Here's the keys. Um, I do it on a string because I found that a hard keychain loop this kind of tends to switch up in my pocket, so it's less comfortable. And uh, once again, I have a tile, great little locating device. Uh, the flashlight here is AAA compatible, but it uses the 10440 battery, which is a lithium ion battery. Let's this light become pretty darn bright for some, something so small. I get about 350 lumens out of this thing. And uh, my only complaint is the activation button is hard to find in the dark. I should probably put some skateboard tape on that or something. Glue it on there so it's just super easy to hit. But, you know, as it is, it's still a very uh, bright light. And then I tend, because it's easy to accidentally activate it in my pocket, I tend to leave it off with just a twist. Uh, other tool on my keychain is a Leatherman Squirt. Uh, probably the smallest sized multi-tool you can get that's, oh, that needs some uh, lubrication and some cleaning. This is the consequence of not paying attention to the tools in your pocket. But anyways, it's, it's, a, it's a decent little tool. It's got a knife on there. It's got a, uh, a file and, you know, some screwdrivers. I've used it here and there. Uh, it's, it's nice to have and uh, it's pretty minimal. Uh, I don't like anything bigger in a uh, multi-tool until I actually need a full-size multi-tool. So if I can't use this, I'm just going to go to my car or backpack and pull out my weather, le weather, blah, 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 Leatherman Wave. So there's, there's that. It's a good little multi-tool. Gets the job done a lot of the time. And then for the pocket knife, uh, this is my EDC, like uh, just kind of the small user knife that I use. It's a Launch 4 by Kershaw. Uh, it's got the Damascus steel, so I'm constantly having to put a food safe coating on here to keep it from rusting up. And uh, oftentimes it'll still get rust spots, and then I gotta get in there and take the, all the rust off. Yeah, you can even see that there's still, it's already some spotting going on there. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice knife. I use this because uh, taking this out, the uh, Cold Steel Spartan can, uh, can be a little controversial in certain places and you don't necessarily need a big giant knife all the time. So I carry a smaller knife for social settings and for uh, other situations I have this. And uh, really try not to use it. Don't like to dink up the edge too much, but like to have it on me. This one is a uh, 
lightened version that I lightened myself and it carries pretty light. It's about seven and a half ounces versus like the nine and a half a regular cold steel Spartan is. And uh, yeah, that's my uh, everyday carry pocket dump. If I'm not carrying these two knives frequently, um, I do rotate the knives I carry. Uh, some other knives I like to carry is, this is a Salmonero designed Boker Stingray. There's like a $1,500 version that looks exactly like this one, but this is just uh, the less expensive version from Boker. It's a great knife, definitely not as strong as the cold steel, but a lot more classy still you know still a large blade uh, wow I didn't even realize how large that blade is it has yeah well anyways I won't get distracted with that and uh, I like to match kind of have some sort of theme going on sometimes like you know that I don't know what the theme is with with the Kershaw and the, the cold steel but for my Stingray, I carry this uh, Stack Gear Pocket Katana. So they both have titanium handles and of the same uh, frame lock construction, which I think is kind of cool. Once again, the Pocket Katana is just there for social settings where you need to take it out and cut a box open or something really simple. And, you know, you don't need a big, huge knife to do that. You know, one great thing for the Stingray is it is great for food prep if you're trying to put some peanut butter on some bread or something it's shockingly good at that which this uh, pocket katana it's uh uh it's just tiny and it disappears in a pocket you can put this in a shirt pocket or your quarter pot you know the change pocket and it, it does great uh good luck finding the uh this one which is the titanium version they stopped making this unfortunately you can still get the aluminum uh scaled pocket liner uh pocket liner liner lock version which is like 0.2 ounces heavier still a great knife but yeah these just kind of go well together so there's a pocket knife a pocket dump with uh an alternative that I sometimes carry as well. Uh, this is Tactical Bunny, and I hope you all have a great day.